Well, Hawaii has many neighborhoods with unique features that make it very appealing to home buyers. And among them, one of the fastest growing. It's Kaka'ako. And that's from McKenna Moduli joining us now this morning from beautiful Kaka'ako. Good morning to you, McKenna. Yes, beautiful and fast growing is the word. My goodness, so des desirable this area. You know, Hawaiians once used this as a fish pond farming, salt making, and now it's this beautiful, bustling little city in the heart of downtown Honolulu. I'm joined now by Stanford Carr, president of Stanford Carr. Good morning. Good morning, McKenna. Wow. Okay, we're in front of Kelho Place. This yeah. is right here, and it's mo it's just a few months away from being done. But tell me what this building is going to be for the community. Sure. This is Hawaii's first transit-oriented mixed-use development where we. We have neighborhood ground floor commercial, rental apartments, townhouse living, and 300 units in a high-rise high condominium. And all different types of walks of life, I can imagine. All different. You know, we actually have 43% of all the units here are affordable to families earning from 100% of the area median income up to 140%. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. And you know, as a, you have an important job as a developer. I'm a Hawaiian girl, and you think, hey, you know, what are some of the elements that you go into? This is a very important piece of land, Kaka'ako. What are some of the criteria that you look at while building a building? Sure, we first start by researching the history of the land and the area mm -hmm. and we try to celebrate that incorporate it into the neighborhood and the project designs mm -hmm. and you told me a beautiful story about the ahupua'a that is here and and Correct. if we when people are driving by they'll be able to see this in the building yes when they from afar as well as nearby they'll be able to see the interpretations uh, along the uh, elevator core that actually celebrates the Ahupua'a from Malka to Makai, which is the orientation of the building. So it starts with architectural interpretations from the lower portion of the building, meaning Kai, the ocean, Pa'akai, salt, which was made on this property, Ililele, which are the jumping trails of people that traverse Malka Makai, the Loi Kalo Leaf, mm -hmm. and Kuihivi, which is the Ko'olau Range. That's amazing. And that has a big part, you know, let's talk a little bit about re revitalization right now because that is a part of the story that I think the people or the children who grow up there are going to know. How important is it for you to be a part of this movement that's happening in Kaka'ako? Oh, we're so just so blessed to be a part of it. You know, this is our second high rise in Kaka'ako. We're about to embark in September of building another workforce rental on the corner of Kona Street and Pihikoi called Hale Kewalo. Mm. But we just feel very fortunate to be a part of the revitalization of transforming Kaka'ako back to a vibrant mixed-use residential community as it once was in the early 1900s. Right. I was telling you when I left for college, this did not look like this. It was an area I probably wasn't allowed in, and now it's like everybody wants to live here. It's so desirable. Yeah, it's very exciting, and there's more to come. Okay, very cool. Um, is there anything else you want to share about Keoho Place? No, we look forward to people moving in at the end of October and early November, and uh, it's going to be really exciting. We've got some great events planned for the future to celebrate the opening and and resurrect some of the history to share it with the community. Yeah, and you were saying people like me, I'm going to want to shop over here, right? Absolutely, okay, yes. Okay, thank you so much. All right, we are going to be here again all morning long for Welcome Home Kaka'ako. For now, I'll send it back to Ron and Christine in the studio. Thank you very much, McKenna. Yes, Kaka'ako has changed yes. considerably in the last uh, five, ten years. It seems like every time you drive by, there's some kind of new artwork on new, the building. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, It's it beautiful, is. yeah.